hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to open lucid chart in draw.io let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in draw.io you just have to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go once you are logged into your lucid chart account let me tell you that you cannot directly open a lucid chart file or dot lucid in draw.io no now known as diagrams.net because the two platforms use different file formats however what we can do is we need to export the lucid chart diagram into a compatible format that can be imported into draw.io so how we can do that first of all you need to click the new button on the upper left corner you can start to go to the lucid chart and create a blank document or maybe you want to create from template let's do that so it's going to be a lot easier for us now similarly if you're going to create a simple flow chart you can use the preview making sure that this basic flow chart template can help us clearly define and visualize the steps in our process that we're going to build if you're happy with this just click the use template wait for it to load while lucid chart is doing all the work for you all right wait for it now i'm going to add more elements along the way for, for example i'm going to add an image here i'm gonna make this image smaller right here so we, you guys can see it document settings i'm gonna change the background of this drag this here maybe change a different background right so here we go now first off is we're going to export this lucid chart all right so go to the file there isn't like a download button here but what we can do is that is to export now if you do that you can choose from any of the following formats okay so the pdf is suitable for layouts but not edit edit editable in draw.io so you want to make sure you take note of that all right the svg and the svg with a transparent background are good for scalable vector graphics file the png are image file with optional transparency all right and the vsdx is a microsoft visual preferred if you want better compatibility all right but for now what we're going to do is maybe we're going to save it as an svg we will be forwarded to this main option here if you want to invite with comment only access specifically if you're working with multiple freelancers one is handling their drop io um, platform and one is handling your admin access to your client you might want to do that just enter their email here and put in the link if you don't want that click the maybe later now in this section we will be forwarded to the download button Again, you can choose from many of the following, but for now, let's stick with the SVG. You can also have the option to crop the content if you want. Do not crop or crop it, depending on your preferences. You can also put in the include page fill. Now, let's click the download button. Once you've done that, you see the download has started. And once it's successful, you should be able to see a status bar. Now, the thing is, we need to switch over to our draw.io account. From here, just click on the start button. You would be forwarded to your main account. If you haven't already, just sign up. It's a free account anyway. It's very easy to do. From here, we can rename this. And we're going to click the open file. All right. You can have the option to open file from Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, or GitHub, or GitLab. Or of course the browser or your device or using the url whichever you prefer all right once we will do that discard changes you see it's loading just wait for it to load give it a it'll take a little while depending on the complexity of your file all right now draw.io is free to use while lucid chart has a freemium model with limited functionality unless you subscribe to a paid plan so some users might want to 
switch to uh, Draw.io for uh, re for budgetary reasons, especially if their Lucid Chart subscription isn't providing enough features to justify the cost. All right. Now, if you're part of a team or organization primarily uses Draw.io, it may be necessary to open Lucid Chart diagrams in Draw.io to collaborate effectively, since Draw.io offers real-time collaboration as well. All right. Now, most of the time in our team, though. Draw.io integrates seamlessly with various platforms like Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Confluence, Jira, and more. Now, if your team or organization uses these tools for project management or documentation, moving diagrams to Draw.io can make collaboration smoother. All right. Some users like me find the Draw.io's interface and tools more suited to their needs or easier to, to do. But... The thing is, it's loading, right? Depending really on the file that you have um, put in because sometimes the complexity or data uh, is being modified to be opened here in Lucid Chart. So it takes a little while. Now, if the Lucid Chart is complex and needs further editing, you see, Draw.io may be find it easier to reorganize and restructure. And it's very flexible and intuitive user interface. Once the file has been loaded, all right. Now, you have a better privacy control because Draw.io offers option to store diagrams on your local machine or private cloud, giving you full control over where your data is stored. This can be appealing to users who prefer to keep their diagrams out of third-party cloud environments. And from here, once you have edited all the information here, you again, you have an option to save it or export it as from different file format. All right. Again, similarly to Lucid Chart earlier, you can export it as PNG, JPEG, WebP, SVG, PDF, VSDX beta, HTML, XML, URL, and advanced option, wherein you can choose to use the following formats. You have all these advanced settings to choose from. All right. So basically, that's how you open Lucid Chart in Draw.io. Similarly, if the Lucid Chart document was exported into a file format that Draw.io supports, for example, the VSDX or SVG, opening it here in Draw.io can be convenient for further editing or modification. But the thing is, depending on the complexity of your file, it takes a little while, as you have seen earlier, a couple of minutes, right? Now, so, if possible, you just have to simplify your Lucid Chart diagram before exporting to minimize the formatting issues and, of course, the loading time. You might want to consider recreating the diagram directly in Draw.io for better native compatibility if the diagram is simple. All right, you can always use the Draw.io built-in templates and tools to refine the imported diagrams. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.